Welcome back. In this lecture, I am going to explain implicit and explicit iteration. So to understand this, we have to take help of an example. So if you see that I have removed the entire code for the image slider and our button is back. So this is the make changes button. So I will write my code whenever I click on a make changes button. So let me write down the code for make changes. So this is the code. So when I click on a button, this function will execute and within this function, uh, I am going to write the example of implicit and explicit iteration. Okay, so let me uh, zoom it. Let me, okay, fine. So let me start my example here. So first of all, I am going to explain the implicit iteration and I am writing my code like where data equals to dollar and then I would write anchor tag and then I will retrieve the text and finally I will display the contents retrieved by the text function so I will write alert data here let me show you that how many anchor elements do we have in the document so that is the first anchor element and this is the second one and then this is the third one then the fourth then the fifth and this is the last one so we have total six anchor elements in a document and the text written inside these anchor elements are learning jquery and then home and then about sitemap upload and query so let me execute my code first and let's see what will happen so refresh your page now i click on the make changes so i got learning jquery and then I got home, then I got about, then I got sitemap, then I got upload and finally I got query. So we are getting the exact result. So that is desired. Okay. Let's understand what is happening here. So right now in this code, the implicit iteration is automatically implemented. So implicit iteration means an automatic loop, right? So that is the nature of the text function. So text function applies this loop automatically. You know that when you write a dollar a, so we are saying that we want to retrieve all anchor elements from the document and that dollar function is going to return a wrapper set. And you know that a wrapper set is a collection of objects and it looks like an array. So in our wrapper set, we are going to have six objects. So your text function, will go to the, each object one by one, retrieve their text and then combine their text and display it in a variable, right? So this is how text function is uh, executing a loop at backend automatically, right? I repeat, your text function is going to each anchor object one by one, retrieving their text and finally, the text function will combine the entire text and return into the data variable and finally we are displaying it so this is known as implicit iteration where the user is not required a programmer is not required to write a loop okay but there are some situations where we need to apply a loop forcefully and that case is known as explicit iteration and explicit iteration can be achieved with the help of each function so let me write down here so let's say uh, I want to retrieve the href value of all anchor elements, right? So earlier in, uh, in this example, in the case of implicit iteration, we were retrieving the text of all anchor elements. Now I am saying that we want to retrieve the href value of all anchor elements. So in that case, we need uh, to take help of attribute function. So let me write down here attribute and and within the attribute function, I am saying that I want href value of all anchor elements. Save your document, go back, refresh your page. Now if I click on the make changes, I got hash. And if I click on the OK, I got nothing. So what is happening here? See, so I got the value of this anchor tag. So I got hash. So but we are not getting the href values of the rest of the anchor tags. So right now all anchor tags are pointing to nothing. So let me write down 
some dummy values here so that you can understand the code in a better way see I have written some dummy values here right now these HTML pages does not exist in your project folder so I have just taken these values to make you understand the concept so if I execute my code I should get hash then home.html then about.html then sitemap.html and so on so let me go back refresh my page now click on the make changes I got hash and now if I click on the ok still I am not getting the rest of these href values so what is happening here so let me explain it actually the attribute function doesn't allow implicit iteration right so it will always fetch the href value of the first anchor element right it won't go to all anchor objects one by one so that is not the nature of the attribute function so in that case we have to apply a loop forcefully with the help of each function so let me explain how can you do it now focus on the code line number 41 42 and 43 now I have written dollar a dot each and within the each I passed an anonymous function and within this anonymous function I have written the code so now let me explain what is happening here now this each function will execute six times yes this function this each function is going to execute six times one for every single object available in the wrapper set so first the each function will execute for this anchor tag this anchor object and then and then the each function will execute for the second anchor object right so let me take a thin tool and then this anchor object will is the third one and the each function will execute for the third anchor object and then the each function will execute for the fourth anchor object and so on so this is happening due to this each function right so what is the code inside this each function I have written where data equals to dollar this dot attribute href now let's understand what is the meaning of dollar this here right so dollar this means for example assume that your each function is uh, running for the first anchor object then dollar this will represent the first anchor object in the wrapper set and we are getting the href value of the first anchor object and then we are displaying it with the help of attribute uh, alert function and then your each function will execute for the second anchor object and now dollar this will represent the second anchor object so dollar this means uh, the meaning of exact meaning of this is the current object for which the each function is executing okay so you can assume that when the each function will execute for the third anchor object so dollar this means the third anchor object in the wrapper set so this way we are getting the href value of all anchor objects available in the wrapper set and this way we are applying a kind of loop forcefully so that is why it is known as explicit iteration now let me erase everything here so let's save our code and refresh our web page now click on the make changes I got hash then I got home.html about.html sitemap upload.html then a query.html and that's it so this is all about implicit and explicit iteration